Hi everybody and welcome back to Nellie Moot Designs. Today I'm going to be doing my Marguerite Miller um, challenge in the Collage Weekly Planner. This is week 27 and I honestly didn't think I would be getting a video out of this because I'm just been very very busy. Um, so today is, uh, let's see, yesterday, yeah today um, is Tuesday and yesterday was the 4th of July so yeah it's been a been a busy weekend um, so this week um, it's something with a bumpy surface anything that can blow in the wind something in a shape of a triangle line paper a number or numbers and then bonus instructions um, I don't think I have instructions, but we'll see. So I'm trying to kill a few birds with one stone here. So anything that can blow in the wind and something in the shape of a triangle. I found this really cool ad, um, Chesterfield Cigarettes. And this is back in the 1940s. It came out of a Better Homes and Gardens that I had January of 1940. And this is the Chesterfield January Girl. So even though we're in July, I thought the red, white, and blue theme would be great, um, seeing that the 4th of July was yesterday. And I just am going to... I'm going to make this simple. Um, I want to... I want to get her hands in here, but I also want to get this little, I want to try to get as much in here as I can. So um, I think the top is more important because I do want that triangle. So I'm going to just kind of cut this in, down like this, try to make it as... Um, want to figure out obviously her hand is going to be cut off here because I do want that hat up in there I thought for some reason I would be able to get part of this in here I would have to cut I could reposition I don't want to reposition her face because I have I could do it this way where at least I get a little bit of her hand or her sleeve in there it's a nice rainy day here um, and the sound of the rain is just lovely. It's a good day to craft. I'm making all kinds of videos today because I'm feeling behind with such a long weekend. Okay. All right, let's get this. So, yeah, I hope everybody had a lovely 4th of July weekend. I know we live in a beautiful resort area, and our weather was just glorious. So I was really happy that it was so nice for all everyone that's out on the lake and camping. Because it's no fun to be in a campsite when it's cold and damp and rainy. Okay, so that off. 
I love, I really love working with um, these old magazines from the 40s. Um, I have my big dream book, glue book, I should probably just call it a glue book, um, that I haven't worked in for a while, and I'm have some ideas and I want to get back and pull some of the the old ads out that the larger ads that I can put in there all right let's see if this is going to work and it is so I'll be able to get most of her hand in there Just gonna tuck that right in under there. Get this here. So I want to thank everybody for joining in. Um, welcome. I want to welcome all my new subscribers. Thank you. And everyone that is returning. Um, that keeps me motivated to whoop, keep going with some fun. Got some fun projects coming up. Um, I'll be having my my video on my um, pin cushion. That I'm just waiting for a few more walnut shells to arrive because I need a few more to stuff it and um, so that video will be coming up so look for that and I'm starting a collaboration with Liz um, over at Buttons for Brains her and I are doing a Scotland, U.S., U.S., Scotland collab. So look for that. I gotta start working on that. And I have, I have some other cute little journal videos coming out. And that's, I'm. Get, these are my notes for some of my to dos and what to do and what I want to do. All right, so we are going to leave Miss January just like that. And then I need something with a bumpy surface. So I have this really pretty um, vintage doily. I thought I would use some of this. And these I have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. Um, these were my mom's that she used to put, these were in her china closet, to line uh, the shelves. And this is what she used to put her glasses on and her plates. So I'm just gonna cut this out totally. I'm not gonna use the whole thing. But I'm going to use bits and pieces to give it a little festive look. I'll cut out some fun shapes here. Let's see. I'll cut out some fun shapes. They aren't really the same, are they? Oh, I have to take this off. That's why. I could put that up there. That might be kind of fun. I can put one over here on the side. Give it a... We'll give it a little party, a little party look. A 
I'll jazz it up a little bit. We didn't get to any fireworks last night. Um, they just start so late. And by the time, like I said, we live in a resort. And by the time uh, I get to Phoenix, <laughs> thinking of Glenn Campbell here. Um, by the time you get out and, you know, they get over with and it's, it's late, it's, um, so we stayed home last night and uh, we've been watching Bosch Legacy. I really like Bosch. We got done. We thought we'd try the Lincoln Lawyer, so we watched the Lincoln Lawyer, and um, then we went right over to Bosch Legacy. So, okay, all right. So we have something with a bumpy surface. And it looks like I'm getting a delivery. Oh, FedEx. He was just here, and he couldn't find the package. And he said, if I find it on my way out, I'll drop it off. Typical man. Oh, my gosh. So the FedEx driver just pulls back in. And um, he, he, like I said, he was here before, and he couldn't find the package. So I went down, and I says, oh, he found it, huh? He goes, yeah. He says, it was right in front of me because it was so big. He says, I kept overlooking it. The package, the box, obviously my son ordered it. It's addressed to him. And it's got to be four feet tall by four feet long and a good five inches wide. It's like, really? And I said, you men, it's like open up and opening up the refrigerator. The milk is staring you in the face and you can't find it. Oh, golly gosh. All right, so where were we? Um, bumpy surface. Anything that can blow in the wind are the streamers here. Um, I have a few streamers left, but I don't think I'm going to be able to incorporate them. Uh, maybe I could put them down here on the side because I have to have uh, lined paper and I really don't. I'm just going to. We could put our lined paper there and I think I will have to jazz it up a little bit because it is looking just too new. It is looking too new. I think I'll crumple it a little bit. All right. And we'll stick that back down there like that, which looks much better. And I think what I will do is I will cut... I will cut these out and attach these as well. Let's give it a go. Add a little bit more pizzazz. A little more pizzazz to the page. this I've got to go get something to eat I haven't had I had a um, special order I'm filming a whole bunch of stuff today so if I repeat myself if you look watched my other 
video or you'll see my other video you'll um, but I had a uh, you'll see that I'm probably it's like the news repeating myself the same story over and over and over again um, but I had a, a special order a card holder from one of my former Etsy customers she contacted me because I don't do anything more on Etsy but she found me and I couldn't say no to her um, she's been such a good girl in supporting my shop over the years and she just retired she's a retired school teacher and she asked me a couple weeks ago if I would make her a card holder and I said sure and she's like are you sure or are you just saying that I'm like no 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 I, I'll definitely make you a card holder because I love making them um, so she said she just retired from teaching school and I said okay and then I needed to know uh, I'm gonna attach this right on here I needed to know what I got thinking about it. I'm like, oh my goodness, what am I going to... Because I know the ones that I've made for her in the past, and they were really, really pretty. And I try to keep the same theme for folks, um, especially if they display them. So I asked her to please send me a photo of the ones I had made her in the past. Um... I have photos of everything I've created, but silly me, I think that's going to have to be my next project. Of all of these card holders I made, um, organize the photos into a book, and then who I made them for. So if they do contact me again, I'll I'll know. Uh, and then I got thinking. Okay, well, so I sent her back a. I sent her back a text. And I asked her, what um, what did she teach? And she told me she taught reading, chemistry, and I forgot what the, uh, oh, and English. Reading was on the side. Um, so I said, okay, and I was stumped. I'm like, oh dear, what the hey am I going to do? Um, so I thought about it, thought and thought and thought, and I took her with me wherever I went, just if I went on a walk, if I was doing whatever. And I thought, what the? I, so I went for a walk yesterday with my girlfriend, the one I'm making the pin cushion for. I said, Lee, I am just stumped. I don't know what to do. She goes, you'll, you'll think of it. So, oh, and then I asked um, my customer what grade she taught. I thought, well, if she taught grade school, that's a no-brainer. Um, I've got so many cute vintage images of children. Um, then she said she taught high school. I'm like, oh boy. So, I thought, what the heck? So it came to me. I went over to Flickr, to the commons that I, I go. It's kind of like my to-go for vintage stuff. And I found a beautiful backdrop of chemistry labs, a chemistry lab. So I used that for the backdrop. And then I uh, had a really nice vintage sewing pattern gal off of a jacket that looked like a school teacher. Um, 
So I incorporated her. And then I thought for English, what can I do for English? Then I uh, found some beautiful Eng an English rose that I incorporated down in the bottom here. And it said Miss, what was the, uh... actually I haven't sent it out yet. I can just show you. Um, and then on the inside, I took a pages from a vintage, almost like a Dick and Jane book. I'll just show you because um, I'm waiting just to verify the address. I don't want to send it to the wrong address. So when this is over, I'll, I'll show you the card holder. But I whipped that out this morning. I did that, working on my pin cushion, that video, and then I thought, well, I'm going to get this done because then I want to start working on the collaboration with Liz, and it's a wonderful crafting day here. Um, you probably can't hear the rain, but it's raining, it's damp. I feel like I'm in Maine along the coast. It's just a very wet, damp day. And we need the rain. It's so dry. And you probably hear all that banging in the background. We have a very large construction project going on. And I think I'm going to have to sneeze. I feel a sneeze coming on. Maybe I can hold it. I'm done. So this is a fun page. Kind of goes with the July 4th celebrations. have that little star showing. What I was trying to get out of my mouth. Put one down here. Let's do one of you. Yep. Just want to make sure I'm in view for everybody. I get aggravated when I see gals on Instagram. They'll do something, but you can only see it's like this. You can only see part of what they're doing. All right, and then, okay, so that's our something with a bumpy surface. And then I've got my, I've got some numbers here. Where can we put the numbers? Here, or I could put it. I could put it down here. I think we'll put it up there. And you know what? I got that upside down. That's a nine. Or is it a six? I think it's a nine. I think seven, seven and eight, seven, eight, and then it was nine, zero. Okay. There. Okay. So, where's my pen? I have to mark it off. All right. So, here is this week's, uh, the fourth through the 10th and we have something with a bumpy surface and that's the doilies and then anything that can blow in the wind are the streamers that are on her hat you can see they're blowing 
something in the shape of a triangle is her party hat. We have our lined paper and we have a number or numbers, which is 90. And I'm not doing the instructions. Um, but yeah, that, I think that's a fun page. And it does, I thought everybody last week thought I would be doing, um, this was my hysterical laughing page. If you haven't seen this video yet, go back and look at this and just have a good laugh. I get laughing at the end and I just, I can't stop. So this will be the 4th of July week. And I think Miss January is just perfect. So that is done. And now I can start adding some more to-dos in my book. And let me show you real quick the um, what I was telling you about the card holder. So these card holders... I've made for many, many, many years in my Etsy shop. And <clears throat> they're a really nice way to keep special cards that you have. I've made them for birthdays, sympathy, um, anniversary, new baby, um, new home. I made one when a gal um, got a new dog because she bought a lot of things from Chewy.com. And I don't know what she put in there. Uh, what else? I've, I've just made a ton of these and I love them. So this one is the first time that I've actually, um, I put a little English rose on the back, but I've, this is a new way that I'm, I'm putting these on here, my ribbon. So the whole idea of these is to build these up in your car. All your greeting cards go inside. So this is what I was um, telling you about. The This is the back part. This is the chemistry. Um, your, all your different figures of different items. I added some washi tape around here. And then I always stitch. I like to make a nice pattern. Um, this is a beautiful uh, cutout fussy cut from a sewing pattern jacket. I have a lot of these. I love working with vintage women. I should do more on my channels because I just, I love them. It's just something that um, really hits home. My mom was a seamstress. She taught me how to sew. We have had all kinds of sewing patterns at home. Uh, this was the year I wanted to put on here, the years that she taught. And this here is the English Miss Rose. And this, I just figured the English roses were nice to depict the English. And then inside where she will she will punch her, her cards, her um, retirement cards. And then um, this opens up and then the, the card will slip on here. And then this is the, um, from the book. This here. Let's see, this, these here are from the New Basic Reader, the New More Friends and Neighbors Curriculum Foundation Series, and the, the book is from 1952. And I liked this because it says, um, this, the teacher saying, this year you will learn many things, said the new teacher. I shall teach you more about reading and counting. And seeing that she taught reading, I thought that was very appropriate. Um, and then the back. So then after you get all of your cards in here, I always tie my bows upside down because that's that's the way the the uh, little things here can come down like this. Then you just tie it up and you can place it on your shelf or you can stand them upright and store them. But I have a feeling that she keeps hers out. So that is what I worked on early this morning and I got done. And this will be going out in the mail um, later today. So that's it, my friends. Back to the Marguerite Miller. I'm going to add a little bit of items here. So I want to thank everybody for joining in. Your views and your comments mean the world to me. And I'm having so much fun with everybody. I really appreciate it. Um, so if you like this video, I'd love to have you give me a thumbs up. Send me a comment, even if it's just a hi, hello, how are you? And um, I will respond. So thanks, everybody, and have a great week. Bye-bye.